The Presidential Commission of Inquiry investigating the Easter Sunday attacks continued its questioning of former State Intelligence Service Director Senior DIG Nilanta Jayavardhana yesterday. The former State Intel Chief was questioned over a data report that showed numerous phone conversations held between himself and former President Maitri Palasi Rizena between the 4th of April 2019, the day the foreign intel warning was received, and the 21st of April, the day of the attacks. According to the report, a total of nine phone calls were made during the 5th and 20th April period, from the XSIS Chief's phone numbers to the official residence of the President at the time, situated at Paget Road, Colombo. The Commission's chairman questioned the witness as to whether he made another phone call to the President on 21st April 2019, the day of the attacks. The witness responded that although he had made such calls to the Paget Road residence, the telecommunications unit stationed there had only patched him through to the President on few occasions. The Commission chairman then questioned the witness whether he had received four phone calls from the President's Paget Road residence between 4th and 15th April 2019. The witness replied that he may have received such phone calls during that time. Following this, the Commission's chairman then asked the witness whether he had informed the President of the threat after having received foreign intel warnings on 4th April, given that evidence shows that he had the opportunity to do so on many occasions. To this question, the former State Intelligence Director replied, No. The witness added that as the initial warning received on 4th April was considered preliminary information, he didn't inform the President of it. However, after verifying the information, he did inform the National Intelligence Chief on 7th April. Further, the witness told the Commission that he would have had the opportunity to inform the President if the National Security Council met on 15th or 16th April. In conclusion, following the end of his testimony, the witness added, quote, I am not protecting anyone, unquote. In response, the Commission's chairman told him, quote, We never stated that you were protecting anyone, unquote. The witness stated in response, quote, But some say that I am, unquote. Following this, the attorney representing former National Intelligence Service Director Cicero Mendes began his cross-examination of the witness by asking him if he had been informed by a State Intelligence Service Deputy Director that Marvin al the statue vandalism suspect Zaran Hashim and Shahid were in hiding in the Oliville area in Akripatu. In response, the witness stated that he had indeed been provided with this information. The attorney then asked the witness why he had mentioned this piece of clear intelligence information as just information when he referred it to IGP Puji Jayasundara at the time. The witness responded that regardless of the terminology or opinions, the important thing must be that such information had in fact been distributed to the relevant individuals. Following this, the Commission's chairman told the witness that in this case, he must be more careful with the words being uttered during any further testimony to the Commission. Continuing his cross-examination, the attorney for Cicero Mendes asked the witness whether he at any point requested the authorities to call for a state of emergency and seek the arrest of Zaran Hashim with the assistance of the armed forces following the dry run in Katankuri, where a motorcycle was detonated on 17th April. The witness responded that it was only his duty to study the information he received, translate it and disseminate it to the responsible authorities, adding that the implementation of the state of emergency was the decision to be taken by the Ministry of Defence. Leave Ayush, Karabu Neti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dati Palakata.